It's your boy, the insurance junkie, your fiduciary fella, the all-star advisor Alonzo Hall, and I've returned today to whap and tap on your head with another ADH Wealth Solution article. Today is an article from Yahoo Finance about Afrotech in regards to Magic Johnson reportedly now being a billionaire because he purchased Equitrust Life Insurance Company, and that's credited as his primary source of wealth. Before I go in, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. So as we proceed to give you what you need, Magic Johnson's wealth has crossed the billion dollar mark according to Forbes. The new feat places Johnson, regarded as a Los Angeles Lakers legend, in the same territory as professional athletes such as Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Tiger Woods. Johnson now becomes the fourth professional athlete to reach this milestone. What's more, the majority of his fortune was amassed after his departure from the NBA in 1996. During his 13-year playing career as a Lakers star athlete, he earned $40 million. Johnson went on to further his imprint in the world of business. As Afrotech previously told you, he launched Magic Johnson Enterprises, an investment firm devoted to black-owned business. The company website mentions Johnson as has ownership in the Los Angeles Dodgers and Oklahoma City Dodgers. Furthermore, Johnson has seen his dream come true by becoming a team owner in the NFL's Washington Commanders. This opportunity arose when he joined an investment group led by Josh Howard Harris, co-owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, to purchase the team. The deal, announced in May 2023, was valued at $6.05 billion, marking the highest purchase price for a North American professional sports franchise, NBC reports. God is so good, I still can't believe it. I am currently living in an answered prayer, Johnson wrote on Twitter. Since beginning my journey as an athlete, now businessman and team owner, it's all been a dream that has come full circle. I grew up playing football as a kid. I'm a huge NFL fan and I watch the games every week. Now, I get to co-own a storied franchise, the Washington Commanders. In his diverse portfolio, Johnson also holds ownership stakes in the WNBA's Los Angeles Sparks and the Major League Soccer's Los Angeles Football Club. He's invested in movie theaters and Starbucks as well. Most recently, Johnson's name became attached to Atlanta Life Insurance Company, a company founded by Alonzo Herndon, Atlanta, Georgia's first billionaire which was acquired by Atlanta Life Holdings to reimagine the power of its insurance business in providing financial security and protection. This was made possible through an agreement with Johnson's insurance company, Equitrust Life Insurance Company, which will now work to expand Atlanta Life Holdings offerings as Afrotech previously mentioned. Per Forbes, Johnson has a 60% stake in Equitrust, and the company earns $2.6 billion in revenue yearly. Equitrust's valuation has increased from $16 billion to $26 billion and accounts for the majority of Johnson's wealth. Forbes estimates Johnson's net worth to be at about $1.2 billion. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the rich use life insurance. They're not just talking about buying term or borrowing against their borrowing from their policy. Obviously, they see that there's lots of money to be made in insurance, just like Alonzo Herndon and Magic Johnson. So black folk, let's get the picture. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're made aware every time I release new content. And as always, share, share, share. Lastly, to contribute to channel growth or to schedule an appointment with a licensed financial professional, the links are in the description of this video. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, wipe ass, work in progress every day and see success. And remember, folks, when people challenge you, 
They don't challenge you to challenge you. They challenge you to challenge you. Accept the challenge. Salute.